This video is brought to you by Biznet. For more information, go to biznet.com.au. In this video, we're going to look at uh, saving the dashboard. There's two different ways to save a dashboard. Um, when we click on the dashboard button in FileMaker, um, the program creates the dashboard for us dynamically. Now, in most cases, this is great. And as you can see here, it's saying reopening will cause any changes you made to be discarded. Do you want to reopen the dashboard? Yes. In other words, it's updating the dashboard with fresh information. Now, that's great um, if you want to keep seeing fresh information. But let's say you create a scorecard that you give to your manager and you want to remember the information that was um, involved in that uh, particular scorecard you gave. Let's close the cube file so we can refresh this data in a second. And let's make a change. So we're going to come into the last task, put a few things in progress. Actually, we'll have, let's have one in progress here as well, just to mix things up a bit. And I'm going to create the dashboard. And if we watch the pie chart when it come when the scorecard comes back, it's just updating. Refreshed. You can see the pie chart has some not started and some in progress. Now let's say you send this scorecard off to your boss, um, and you don't want it to update anymore. Well, what you can do is you can go into Edit Links, and there's a little function here called Break Link. And as it says here, breaking links permanently converts the formulas and external references into their existing values. Can't be undone, and therefore you may want to save a version of this file with a new name. Are you sure you want to break the link? So I'm going to say cancel now, because what I'm going to do first is I'm going to save this spreadsheet under a new name called video. Save. And what I'm going to show you is that if we break the link for video, and we'll leave that on the screen, and we reopen the dashboard. Actually, we'll just regenerate the dashboard, it's probably easiest. Close the cube file. Regenerate the dashboard. And we're just going to wait for this one to update again. And there it's showing the 10% in progress, 7% not started. I'm going to go back to our project. And now I'm going to complete everything. and run my dashboard again, closing the cube file first. It's gonna reopen our dashboard and hopefully show this pie chart has everything been completed, which it has. And what we can do now is change to this uh, video file that we created, video.xls, and as you can see, the pie chart here has been saved as it was originally. So the great thing about this is you're able to take snapshots of your data that won't change, so they're good for uh, reports and uh, meetings. Um, and more importantly, what you can do is actually save the entire spreadsheet under a new name and if you don't break the link then every time you open that spreadsheet it will automatically update with new data.